Hi everybody, back in the kitchen again and uh, after a few requests today I'm going to be doing some sausage onion plats from the Pinch of Nom book. We've been meaning to do this for a while now. A few people have asked me to uh, show you how we do them. So uh, here we go, nice simple one for you. So first, first of all the ingredients then. Uh, we use 500 grams of low fat pork mince. I sometimes cheat and I've got a friendly butcher who does me uh, low fat sausage meat. Um, it's the same thing basically. We've got uh, three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and a tablespoon of Worcester sauce in there. A couple of chopped red onions in there. And we have in the bowl there half a teaspoon or sorry, half a tablespoon of the mustard powder the sage, some garlic and some thyme, uh, 100ml of stock there, chicken or pork stock will do, salt and pepper hiding at the back and for the wraps we use the Weight Watchers ones because they come in around 120 calories per wrap. So uh, we'll start putting it all together. Okay so first thing to do is Put the onions in the pan and we're going to put those in there with the balsamic vinegar and Worcester sauce and the chicken stock. They're going to cook down there for about five minutes um, till, they all, till the onions go soft and the liquid reduces. So as you can see there, they've gone nice and soft and all the liquid has gone into the onions to give them some beautiful flavours. Okay, so next step to do is to get the mustard powder, the sage, the uh, rosemary and the other herbs and salt and pepper mixed into the pork mince uh, you can use a blender if you really want to for this, I don't find it a, a great chore to do it this way So we mix all that in and then we're also going to add the onions that we've cooked down into there too. Now, obviously once you've done this a couple of times you can uh, tweak the recipe, you can increase or decrease the onions and add extra herbs and spices in and so on to whatever you want to make. So I'm just going to thoroughly mix all those together now and then uh, come back and have a look at how we make them into the actual plats. Okay guys this is the fiddly bit now. So we've now got the Weight Watchers wrap. It's bog standard Weight Watchers wrap as you can see. Nothing's Nothing special about that. So first thing we do is fold it into thirds like that. Those of you who are good at origami will be great at this. So we do that. That gives us two lines as you can see there. So now fold it in half like that and we should still be able to see the line there. So now we're going to put cuts in like so. There you go. That's how we get the plat. So now we open it up. So we've got the bits that side and the bits this side. So then we get to the clever bit. Then we get to the clever bit. We'll get a, a dollop of the filling in. 
like so. Put a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And then fold the end over like that. And then go along side by side. I think I'll probably put too much filling in this one. I might get away with it. Fold the end over. Carries on. Carries on, and so on, like that. And it looks kind of fiddly, but you get there in the end. Then you've got to flip it over like that and put it on a baking tray, like that. Okay, so you put it face down first time. So, plan B if you find that too fiddly, because obviously it doesn't alter the taste at all. If you get a, a dollar per filling. Like so on. Do that, that, stretch it down a bit, pull the ends in. Yeah, so you get a little parcel like that. When you invert that, you cook it like that. It tastes just as good, it's just a lot less hassle. Okay, so there you go there. All on the uh, tray now. Now what I'm going to do now is just brush them with a beaten egg and that helps them go a nice golden colour. It also stops, hopefully, stops the wrap breaking a bit because where you've uh, made them the plaits they can be a bit fragile so if you particularly sort of egg the edges look as you can see I'm doing there that should give them a bit of flexibility to uh, stop and break in while the first cooking. As you can see, I'm not the most artistic chef in the world. Tina's the baker, not me. But uh, they do taste the same just as well. Now, you may have noticed on this baking tray, I've covered it with non-stick baking parchment or greaseproof paper, whatever you call it. Um, we find that's a big help because um, what tends to happen is you do get some of the juices come out of the meat and the onion filling and um, with the eggs as well, and they can stick. So the non-stick parchment is a big help. So they now go in the oven on 180 for 15 minutes, well 15 to 20 minutes, you judge by the colour of the uh, pastry effect when they come out. And then we're going to turn them over, egg the other side again and put them in for another 15 minutes. And uh, we'll see how we go from there. Okay guys, so these have uh, ooh, been in the oven now for... 20 minutes and you see they're looking a nice golden colour so we'll take them out now and flip them over you see now this is why we use the, uh, the non-stick baking paper
there you go. Now uh, just egg them again. And the egg, they say they look a bit soggy on the bottom at this stage, but don't worry too much about that because the egg uh, helps them crisp up, which uh, works surprisingly well as you'll see at the end. There we go. And they're going to go back in the oven now for another 15 minutes. Okay, so that's 15 minutes gone. So we'll open the oven. And we should have some very nice looking golden brown sausage and onion plats or pasties depending which ones you look at. There you go guys, the finished item. Sausage and onion plats or parcels from the latest pinch of Nombok. They're great served with chips, baked beans, that sort of thing. Or, and I quite like them, I like these uh, when they've gone cold, they're great in your lunch box because you only have to count the uh, the sins or the calories if you're on grow for uh, the wrap which is 118 calories. So. There you go guys, that's how we make the sausage and onion plats. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. It's, uh, it's great for that. And uh, please tell your friends about our videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.